hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new don't forget to subscribe like and tap on that notification bell so getting right into today's video i do have a lot of hand movement i was actually talking while recording this so what i was saying is that thank you so much for the love and the subscribers we did gain about 10 more subscribers with my first video and i was really grateful for that anyway getting right into the video we're going to be doing um a simple set and i am going to be using the pop-off method for this one because i'm not going to be keeping the set like at all when recording this my birthday was in a few days but i did want to kind of like record a video for you guys that i would post before i actually post my my birthday nails and this is what i came up with so i actually did find this set on pinterest and i tried to recreate it and i did not like how they came out and i don't know like that is an understatement i feel like they could have been a whole lot better than they came out but it is what it is so for this i had to remove this set and i really was in love with this purple set if you didn't see this set i do have a video on my channel i am going to um leave a card at the top of the video so you're gonna see this one now i'm going in with a ceramic bead and my e file my e file i do have it at about medium high speed just because it's a removal and i am trying to be very careful because this bead is pretty pretty strong so i'm going to use that and file down majority of the product for the removal i'm not gonna include like I'm not gonna show the entire removal process mainly because it took forever and we don't have that much time so I'm just going to show you guys how I did these Okay, so um, during the step or after the step, there are parts that I'm not going to show you guys. So like the fact that I ended up deciding to trim down my natural nails. And if you saw my previous video, you will know how long they actually were. I ended up cutting them down. And then I also went off camera, applied my peel off base coat and also sized out my nail tips about these tips if you can tell they are not the ones that i normally use and that is the first problem they have a really like deep c curve and i didn't like that and they were also just they didn't have a variety of sizes so my nails you find that majority of my nails were in between sizes or they just didn't have a size at all but i had to get this done so i went ahead picked out the sizes that I could work with, tried to reshape them as much as possible to fit my nail beds and then I glued them on with the base coat. Now I am going to be shaping them and filing the free edge. I am keeping them pretty long so that's all I'm going to be doing. Now they are going to be very long mainly because I'm trying to recreate the stuff that i found on pinterest but i also want to 
do a long nail set i have not done a long nail set on my channel or in general when i now think about it well at least not this long so but i will say it was a struggle working with the tips because i realize now that the biggest issue was the nail tips anyway after i was done with that i'm going in with my base coat and just applying a layer of that and then i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds Okay, so after all of that, I will be going in with my poly gel application. I'm just going to do these nails in two beads because I can't find it in me to do a long nail set or any nail set in just one bead. The only nail set that I can try to do in one bead is like a really short one or a gel overlay or a poly gel overlay. Now I'm just going to place the first bead onto the tip of the nails and then I am going to use my brush to pat it and cover the rest of the nail with the poly gel before I actually go in and smooth it out. I find that this actually helps with my application. But on this day I struggled. I struggled. I've never found poly gel application to be as difficult as I found it to be while doing these nails and that is mainly because of the nail tips I was not using the ones that I normally use and I struggled they were too deep for me like they had a really deep C curve one and they are coffin shaped I can I can try to work with square um, with square tips with a circle but coffin tips I just can't I find it so difficult so yeah after the first bead is cured I'm going to go in with a second bead and I place it um, before the cuticle area and I also did try to infill some areas where I saw that I didn't have enough poly gel and then I'm going to go in with um, with the cuticle bead application, I'm going to pat it into pat it closer towards the cuticle. I didn't place it as close, mainly because I don't want the poly gel to flood my cuticles. So I'm going to do that and then drag it and blend it in with the rest of the nail. And I did the I did the rest of the nails off camera. And then I'm going to go in with my shaping. This is what they look like after I did the middle finger and this is the rest of them. So I am going in with a paper towel and acetone to remove the tacky layer that the poly gel leaves behind. Because I do not want it to clog up my my hand file. After that, I'm going to be shaping them. So for the shaping part, I'm just going to show you guys how I shaped just this one. First, I filed the sides. I think I've done this in a lot of times, but I'm going to keep repeating it for you guys. I filed the sides just to kind of like regain my shape. And then I score the free edge. And then I go over the surface of the nails and since this application was very wacky I had to do a lot of filing but it doesn't matter I still got the the nails into a very into a pretty decent um, condition a nail shape so
Okay, so getting right into the nail art, I will be I will be showing on my black fringe tips. So while shaping these nails, the pop of method worked way too good, and um, two of them popped off, and I had to glue them back on. But yeah, so here we are. I'm just going to try my best to draw these fringes like they have to be deep fringes and i don't normally do deep fringes especially on long nails so this was a first for me but i think um despite how terrible the nail shape was i they probably would have came out looking a whole lot better than they did i feel like i did pretty good with these fringes i'm getting better with my fringes and i'm proud so i drew the outline and then i went in with um the gel brush to just kind of infill the larger area and then i would i go back in again with the liner to kind of just fill in where the brush won't get to so yeah i actually think maybe if i would have left them alone like this they wouldn't have turned out that bad i don't know or maybe I'm just starting to feel like they're not as bad as I was seeing them. So while during the the thumb French, I I I don't know. I wanted to try something else, and that is why I left the index finger alone, because I wanted to see if I could think of anything different to do to it. But I decided against it and just went with the original idea. So I'm just going to be doing on the French tip. I really think I'm getting a hang of this whole drawing French tips kind of thing. They're not easy by any means, but I am getting better at them. Okay, so after doing on the French tips, I'm going to be going in with um, the flower nail art. They are more daisies, I guess. They're more like daisies. I some of them are, some of them, some of them aren't. So I'm using a dotting tool and placing dots. Those are going to indicate where my petals would be. And then I'm going to use my liner brush to kind of just drag towards the center and fill in the petals. That way they are more fuller than they used to be with the way i used to draw them before so i'm going to be alternating between the different colors different sizes of flowers sometimes not even daisies i don't know what they're called but just flowers i guess so yeah i had thought i would incorporate the blue gel polish but i didn't like how it was sitting with the other colors so i decided not to include it but yeah that is pretty much the whole set well the whole idea of the set i do feel like it would have turned out a whole lot better if i was doing the, i was doing it with tips that i am used to doing it with that i'm used to working with sorry but I did what I had to do, I guess, <laughs> so.
So I did want to mention that after, while I was drying the flowers, I was curing as frequently as I needed to cure. Sometimes after every nail, sometimes after every flower, sometimes after every color. And that is just so that I don't find myself smudging any of the flowers and having to wipe everything off. And then now I'm going in with my top coat. This is my matte top coat. I think I should have done it glossy. I'm not really sure, but I think I like the way the glossy looks. And I don't like how my matte top coat actually ends up looking. I really think I should have done it glossy, but it's too late for that now. So maybe next time. I am going to cure that um, under, under the light for 60 seconds and that basically concludes today's video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about the set. I really feel like there's a lot that could have happened that I could have done differently and would have made the set a whole lot better than it came out. But I really can't change how it looks now. so. Now I'm going in with my cuticle oil just to moisturize my cuticles and get them all proper because they got dried up with the acetone and everything. But yeah, I did take some, some pictures and videos under the sun as well. I don't know, I do like how the matte looks but at the same time I feel like the glossy was better. I'm confused. Let me know what you guys think, glossy or matte. But I don't think it turned out as bad as I was imagining it. But it really could have been a whole lot better. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and getting this far. I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.